go see point. What's the essence? No, I care about you, but hey, I just want to know, why am I keeping it in my mind? Is it happy in my life? No. Hello, hello. It's me again. Guys! Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Aisha Fridolfs. If you're new here, welcome and even thank you for tuning in again. My name is Aisha Fridolfs and I'm filming from Ilorin, Nigeria. So, from the title of this video, you'd already understand what's going to be going down today. This video is literally going to be about... Yes, we all know um, Pastor Mrs. Ibidoni Igudalo is dead. She's been dead for quite some time now, almost two weeks. However, I might have I didn't have any particular relationship with her, but one of my faves, she was one of my faves, mama, and my fave is Tomike. And if you should know Tomike, when she loves you, she go all out for you. Like, if you know Tomike, you don't know that Tomike loves mama. I think you know a different Tomike. Anyways, when I learned of her death, I was devastated on behalf of Tomika. Like, from all the things that she had shared with us, her family members, like, we knew quite a lot about this woman. We think we know quite a lot about this woman, actually. So, I'm going to be sharing one or two things. Not one or two. One, two, three. Down to ten. Ten things that we've learned from, that I have realized from this woman's passing. And particularly, this is not because, okay, well, this man died now and then i'm just realizing now no like you know when your subconscious knows something but it just needs something to bring it bring it out like allow you to realize okay this is reality this is what is actually happening so it has been all these things i'm about to even in my subconscious like so subconscious actually but this man's death has triggered it and i hope i pray to my god up there so i'll be able to live through all the things that i'm seeing in this video i'll be able to live by it and enjoy my life the first thing on my list is to talk to god more often so everybody all of you everybody everywhere, you have god's phone number just whenever wherever however just talk to god like talking to god is very very important it's one of these steps like to me i feel that is one of the things i've realized so i'm going to be talking to god more often if i'm sad hello god alpha if i'm happy god you don't know what just happened i'm literally going to be talking to god when i'm happy when i'm sad if you Oh, find me. I'm reporting you to God. Fed straight up. I don't have. I what? Where am I? Straight to God. So please, know what you are doing in your life. The first thing in this list is for me to talk to the God. The second thing on this list is to show those you care about that you care about them. Cause, bro, I don't understand. What's the point in liking you if I cannot tell that I like you? If I care about you and I can't tell. You, like i care about you i appreciate you there's no point fam you don't know how long you are going to be here for like show those you care about them care about that you care about them and let them know so just love care about people and just tell them that you care about them because see point what's the essence no i care about you but hey, i just want to know man why am i keeping it in my mind is it happy in my life no but if i care about you and i tell you I formed an alliance. There is a friendship. There is something that is building. You were the person your friend before, and you realize that ah, this person I've done so much in my life. Call that person. I appreciate you. There is no time. Love hard. Love and love it very well. In Tommy Ken's words, scream it to the world. Let the person that you love, let that person feel your love. Let the person be told, I have somebody somewhere that if I should close my eyes, I know this person here loves me, if you get what I'm saying. So, scream it, let the whole world know that you like this person. While this woman was alive here, yeah? see, Tommy Care showed this woman that she loved her. She said something, I think she posted it after the woman's death, and she was like, yes, she's sad that the woman is not here, but the one thing that she's happy about is the fact that when this woman was alive, she didn't cease to tell the woman that she loved her. Every single opportunity you go, Mama, I love you. Mama, thank you. Mama, I love you. You don't know how long you are going to be staying here for. At least if you are staying here for however short time you are staying here for, the people that are living behind you know, okay, I had somebody that cared about me. This person, when she was here, she cared about me. If you get what The fourth thing here on my list is going to be apologize when you can. In as much as telling people that you care about them, you care about them, is very important. You should also be able to apologize when you've done something wrong. Like, apologize when you have the chance to apologize. For example, now you had a fight with whoever you had a fight with, and then it came hard. But you're like, no, I couldn't have been wrong. No, stop. You don't mean it. I couldn't have been wrong. 
when you've gone back and you've reflected, ah, with a she mistake, sha, and a mug, call up, fam. Whoever you are leaving behind should be able to know that, okay, we left to be, I left you behind or she left me behind on good times or whatever. You should be able to, not even, or leave, or leaving behind right now. You should not be able to apologize, long story short. If you're wrong, apologize. Once you realize you are wrong, don't keep it still, okay. Let it brew small. Let's mm -mm, don't like to brew. Apologize. There's no point. Actually, there's no point. Do what you love and what makes you happy. If you're happy, most likely the people around you are going to be happy. The same way if you are sad, the people around you like you are going to depress them. If you do the way eh, hey, the way life is life is contagious. That's how happiness is contagious. So if you're happy, the people around you are most likely going to be happy. Do what makes you happy. That restaurant that you want to sample, that your friends are not ready to go to, go and sample it by yourself. That trip that you want to go to, trip it yourself and enjoy your life. Be happy. Because when you are happy, you are most likely to spread happiness. And if everybody around you is happy, who is the devil to come and make any one of you cry? Now, hmm. run away from people people that make you unhappy people that don't give you peace of mind run away from them pick up your slippers dust it yeah sorry i put it on your head and carry race alele be going because anybody that doesn't, that doesn't give you peace of mind what are you still doing around the person i don't understand kill on Rudy, what are you waiting for the best thing to do is give you a attack at the end of the day no 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 no, no. when people are not giving you peace of mind they run away when you love somebody and you can't tell the whole world, I like the whole no, ah, I love the person, and you're not like, ah. Sure, if I tell this person that I love him, like this, sure the person will not be taking advantage of Eh? Don't take advantage of you. Run away, you are not supposed to be there. Run away from people that don't give you peace of mind. Peace of mind is very, very, very important. Now, number seven on this list is to count your blessings. Bro, appreciate what you have. Be grateful for what you have. You find that a whole lot of people don't have as much as they have. So if you are sitting where you are and you just sit down, Kuvunu, think, I have this, I have this, I have this. Talk God. Thank you. I'm happy for what I have. I want to strive harder, but I'm also happy where I am. Because what? There are people that have not reached where I am. There are people that are suffering and you are here. You have access to the internet. You have access to this video. You sit down and do what you count your blessing. Number eight is work hard and hustle. Because, because nobody is sure of tomorrow. Tomorrow is not sure. If you want to enjoy yourself today, you work hard. You work hard today to enjoy yourself today. You work hard today to enjoy yourself tomorrow. Long story short, there is no, there is no long story. Shall work hard. And if you want to work hard for yourself, it's very good to work hard for yourself. You can like to work hard for your generation to work hard for whoever. Just work hard because tomorrow is not sure. You don't yes, so okay. work on a legacy to live. Yes. You might feel where you are, you're in a tight space, you're in a small corner. Who are you living legacy for? Or you don't know a lot of people. Legacy is not for big people. Legacy is not for plenty of people. Just do what? Legacy is literally leaving the people where you go somewhere. You leave the people there better than you met them. Happiness is a legacy. As far as you are living, the people around you in a better situation or in a better state of mind or whatever than when you met them. Legacy in legacy in You want to leave legacy, you want to connect a legacy, then you now forget yourself. In the words of one of my friends, let me read it for you. Baba was spitting bars and he said, On some level, people wouldn't even care about what you left behind. So leaving a legacy behind is nice and all. But make sure you live for you first. It is very important for you to live for you. If you are living for yourself and you are there doing what you are living leg legacy at the same time, it's very, very good. But where you want to live legacy and you are not living for yourself, you die sad. People say, ah, she was a happy fellow. Why? Why? What was that? I don't have anything to say about that, but then there is that. Number 10 here is going to be the last, and it's not particularly a point. It is just summary i don't want to tell you all that life is too short to be doing rugby rugby to be doing any out to be doing left and right you do what 
you do all what I've said in number one tonight. No, I'd not say you should do it too. Honestly, I'd not say you should. But I am saying, after this woman's death, I've noticed something, and these are the things I've noticed, and these are the things that I'm going to try my best to live with. So I'm going to give a short summary of everything. Number one, talk to God more often to show the people you care about that you care about them. Number three, love well and love hard. Number four, apologize when you can. Five, do what you love and what makes you happy. Number six, run away from people that do not give you peace of mind. Number seven, you count your blessings. Number eight, work hard and hustle when you can because nobody knows tomorrow. Number nine, work on a legacy to live. And number ten, life is too short to be doing very, very big. So I've gotten to this point. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any video ideas you'd like me to make, please, the comment section is down below. Please do put it in the comment section. If you have anything to say to me, if you have, from all the things I've said, if you think I've made sense, and which one of what I've said you've, pick one or two things from please drop it in the comment section i would really really appreciate the interactions don't forget to like comment and subscribe ah, where the subscribe button Sha, why do i always make this mistake the subscribe button is here subscribe to my youtube channel and share to your friends so why you want to be happy why you want to do all this i think it should be a very good idea to carry your circle along you carry your very very close circle if they are not close to you Shall carry your circle along Thank you so much for watching. My name is Aisha Fredos and this is where I live. Stop playing with this thing now. Hold it very well. Hold it. Don't do if you touch my camera, it's gonna be a problem. So hold it in your where you are, just hold it there. Who is that? Do you want to enter? Yes. Enter. <laughs> and don't kick my toe. Go like that. Yeah, I see my video. Stop that now. Like that, Put it up on your face. Don't like touch my camera. Here. Don't touch my camera. That's my own. Oh yeah.